bells are anxious. And yeah, I'm Aja. Wear your anchors for Monday, <laughs> December 11th. Please stand for the pledge. Today is National Noodle Ring Day. Our lunch options for today are rice bowl, peas, rippers, and popcorn chicken. Our sides today are Chinese styled veggies and seasoned cubed potatoes. In national news, Steven Tyler took the time to open up a home for neglected and abused girls outside of Atlanta. This is something that he's always wanted to do. Tyler is very happy involved with the designing of the project. In Japan, men are generally shushi chefs, which is a traditional, which is traditional. But Yumi Shiba is planning to defy that tradition. She says, when it comes to sushi chefs, people say you are a woman and your body temperature is too high, so you can't make proper sushi. Who decides that? Here's CNN with the video. The art of sushi making takes care and practice. In Japan, it is a food staple and one backed by tradition and formality. Female sushi chefs are few and far between, with men usually seen working behind the counter. This is Yumi Chiba, standing side by side with her teacher, mentor and father, who helped her become one of the most renowned female sushi chefs in Japan. People often tell me, you must make sushi more delicate because you are a woman, but that's wrong. A sushi chef is a sushi chef. She's been making sushi for 20 years, running the family sushi business in Shizuoka, a city about a two hour train ride from Tokyo. <laughs> Her father opened up the restaurant five decades ago. I didn't intend to become a sushi chef and wanted to avoid it. The more I learned, the more interested I was. I asked my father, I want to make sushi, and could you teach me? He didn't think I would eventually take over the restaurant. She did, and her love for her job only grew more passionately. But it wasn't easy for women to work behind the sushi counter. People would tell me, you are a woman and married and have a family. You can't balance your work and home life. When it comes to sushi chefs, people say, you are a woman and your body temperature is high, so you can't make proper sushi. Who decides that? Apple's HomePod speaker is waited till next year. Apple confirmed on Friday that the expensive Siri-powered smart speaker has been delayed. Instead of it being available in December, it'll ship early next year. Some say that this is just another copy of Alexa, the Samsung home speaker. Now to J-Lo <clears throat> with your sports news. What's your name? Tanya, eighth grade. What are you looking forward to this season? Winning a lot of our games in the championship. What was the hardest thing about trying out for basketball? Not losing my temper. Do you think you will be able to keep up with your grade school and basketball? 
What makes you say that? Because sometimes you just got to put basketball aside and just focus on your grades. So if we need to, we got to um, study before practice. What do you think you think you'll bring to the team? I think I'll bring a lot of skills, a lot of leadership, and help to the team. Thanks, Jayla and Jayla. Apple tickets for sponsoring a host family are still for sale this week. PR National Junior Honor Society members Charlie and Stefan with the latest raffle winners. Right, our great academic pursuit team came from. We're here to announce the first six winners for the raffle ticket draw. First, we have Hannah Fahey. Good job. <laughs> Next we have Preston Tar. Good job. I won't look. Now we have Terrence without a last name. Good job, Terrence without a last name. Great job. Uh, next we have Preston Tar again. Woo! All right. Another one. Uh, Toby Nice, good job, man. Okay, and for our last winner, we have Preston Tar. <laughs> Great job. Thank you for donating and thank you for um, participating. The seventh grade academic pursuit team came from behind on Wednesday night to beat Fall, Fall Creek Valley. The Bruins won by one point, and thanks largely to Alexandra Tour, um, who had eight points with the fourth scoring. Um, Belzer, Adam, <laughs> Proactive, Becca, Stiller, and Keller, Stanton, Hall. Remember to sign up for the 21st Century Scholars and bring your completed pink form. Everyone who brings in the slip is a winner. On this day in history is 1620, 103 Mayflower Pilgrims land at Plymouth Rock. Today's late birthday is actor Jack Griffo, who is turning 21 today. He's best known for appearing on Nickelodeon's 2015 holiday special. A quote of the day is from Helen Keller, who once said, The best and most beautiful things in the world can't be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. That's it for the rest of your morning announcements. Have a great day.